Welcome to your ultimate guide to Master Pages. Master Pages are super useful for adding elements to your design that can be repeated throughout your entire document. Master Pages are great for things like page numbers, guides and more. In this video I'll be showing you a few hidden features of Master Pages that can give you more control over your designs. So let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to this file in the video description. Before we begin, let me show you what this file looks like. In this file we have a front cover, then we have a few pages, then we have a few pages like introduction pages, and then main text pages, and in the end we have a back cover. To get started looking at Master Pages, I'm going to move to our Master Pages panel and double click on this Master Page. Double click on that Master Page. This Master Page has been applied to all of these pages by default. Anything that I put on this Master Page will automatically appear throughout our entire document. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to select this rectangle tool and then click and drag a rectangle. To see this rectangle a little bit better, I'm going to select its fill colour and change it to a bright colour that we can see. We've applied this rectangle to the left hand side of our master page. Because of this, as we scroll through our document, we can see that every left hand page has this rectangle applied to it. And there it is. Anything I do to update this rectangle on the master page will automatically be updated in our main pages. If I change this colour here, you can see it automatically update on all of our pages. And there it is, updated on all of the pages. This is a great way to have control over your documents and automatically update something throughout an entire document. With the rectangle tool, I'll click and drag another rectangle over here. Now we have this long skinny rectangle on all our right hand pages. I'm going to delete these rectangles now and show you a more practical use for master pages. So you can delete these rectangles by highlighting them and pressing your delete key or go to the layers panel and, and press on the trash can. Now I'm going to add page numbers to these pages by selecting our frame text tool and then clicking and dragging out a text frame. Now that we have a text frame, I can go to the top of the screen to text, insert fields, text, insert fields, page number. And we now have a page number inserted into this text frame. You can just see it linking on the left hand side there. We can edit this number now to look exactly how we want by changing the font size, alignment and in fact anything we want. Let's change it to center alignment and make it a reasonable size font. 
14, we can treat this like any other text. I'm going to center my page number as I've done and then select the move tool to adjust where it sits in the document. There we go, it's in the center and it's just up from the bottom of the page. It's actually in a in a fold, in a field that's probably slightly too large. But if it is, we can come back to it. I'm going to double click on our main pages to make sure that I like where this is positioned. And I think that looks pretty good. There it is there. Two. Now click on the text frame because you also want it on the right hand side. Click on the text frame and then I'm going to hold down Alt or Option plus click. Hold down Alt, Option plus click. So you've got Alt plus Option or the Command key if you like, plus clicking it drag it across to the right hand side and now you have the number in two positions. I'm just going to make sure these are lined up now and we have page numbers on our master pages that are repeated throughout the entire document. There we are, lined up. Double click on pages, page 2, page 3, just how you like it. You can apply multiple master pages to a document. To do this, I'm going to come back up to our master pages panel, there, and I'm going to press this button right here to add a new master page. See, add master just pops up, and its default name is master B. Just leave it as it is. We now have a new master page here that we can put anything onto and then apply to certain pages in our document. I'm going to select the rectangle tool and click and drag a rectangle right here. Get the width a little bit exact. Width 20 millimeters. I'm going to go and change the colour to something less intense. The fill colour. There we go. That's, that's quite soft there. That's much less intense. And apply it. And now we can use this march the master page and apply it to certain pages in our document. For example, if we wanted this blue rectangle to be on the side of our introduction pages, we could come to our introduction pages and then, a press, then press apply master. There's our introduction pages. We can right click, apply master. We want to apply master B. And our introduction pages span from pages 2 to 5. And there's an option right here to be aware of. If I check on replace existing, we'll lose our page numbers that we have added to these pages. I want both masters applied to this page so that we have our page numbers and this rectangle applied. So I'm going to uncheck replace existing and then press OK. If we go back to our main pages we can see that our introduction page and the following page now have this rectangle applied to them and the page numbers. Introduction and the page numbers are still there. But it's not applied to main text because that's not what we wanted. OK, back to there. If I wanted to, I could also duplicate this master page. To do that, I'll right click 
and then press duplicate. And there it is there, Master C. We now have a page called Master C and if I double click on it I can change the color of this rectangle and then I can apply it to our main text pages in our document. So select that there and what we want is a very fine blue just a slight purple color that's quite that'll stand out enough for us here you may have different preferences and different choices all right click on our first main text page there's our main text page and then press apply master 6 through 11 apply master right click select the master page which is master C six through eleven remember make sure replace existing is checked off and then press OK you can now see in our document that beginning on the master page main text page that outer left hand edge now has that purple um, application so just to reiterate you can now see in our document that we have our introduction pages with a colored rectangle on the side and then our main text pages with a different colored rectangle on the side it's good to know that you can apply multiple masters to a page this way you have more flexibility when altering your master pages but let's say I don't want a master page applied to a certain page. For example, if I don't want the front cover to have a page number on it, I can make sure that this front cover has no master page applied to it. You can see there it's got page 1. What if we don't want page 1? To do that, I'll come over here and right click on our front cover and then press clear masters now you can see the page number has gone we no longer have a page number I can repeat this for our back cover and we no longer have a page number so front and back page are gone page numbers are gone so now that we can see that we have pages without masters, with a single master, and with multiple masters applied, but did you know you can actually alter a master page on a single page in your document? I think this is a really cool hidden feature, so let's go ahead and try it out. Let's say on our first page that has the blue rectangle, we actually want this rectangle to look a little bit different. If I come over to our layers panel, I can right click on the master B layer and then I can edit this layer. If I click on edit detached, that means I can edit this master page and it won't affect the other pages that have this master applied to them. Editing the page detached you can see it in red I'll click on the rectangle and I'll bring it down and now this rectangle has been altered on this page bring it down to the top of introduction but if we scroll down we can see it's been unaltered on the other pages it's altered on that one but not on that one we can see on our master B page that the rectangle still appears at its full height. Master B, rectangle still at the full height. I'm going to press finish now. That's up there in the right hand edge of the red bar. 
and we can see that we've altered this master page without affecting the rest of our document. Now we can see what it looks like when we edit our master page detached. So I'm going to come down here to our main text page, main text page, and show you another way you can edit your master page. I'm going to right click on master C and then press edit linked, which is that one there. And with the move tool selected, I'll alter this rectangle because I'm altering this linked. Moving the rectangle has affected all the pages with master C in it and I'll click finish and that finishes that. Here's the last way that we can edit a master page is by editing the frame content. This is the default of master pages. If I right click on master A and then make sure edit frame content is on I can click in here and I can edit the content. If I right click on Master A and then make sure Edit Frame Content is on, I can click in here and I can edit the content. I can change this from a page number to anything else, for example, and it won't affect your other pages. It's just affecting this text frame and that's it. But I won't change it because I don't want to move that. And finally, the last thing you can do to a master page, I'll just click on a new page here. If we can right click on the page and then press lock. Right click on the page. Oops, sorry. Right click on the page and press lock. Now you can't alter that page. Master C is locked. And if I want to, Master A is locked. With these different settings and ways you can alter your master page, you can make your document look however you want. You can make it so no masters are applied, multiple masters are applied, and you can even edit a single master page within your document. Master pages give you so much control over your designs. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little walkthrough on just what you can do with master pages. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.